We've just had a very short hunt in the backfield behind our house, which I've bashed to bits with the e track over the years. We've been out oh, an hour and a quarter maybe, and James was using the Dios, I was using the e track, and we had a bit of a competition going. So here's what happened. This one's with the e track. Uh, it was reading 1038 and it's a half penny from George V. That's what that's early 1900s. Right then, young boy, this one was yours. It looks silvery. It's a coin, look at that. You can see the milling around the edges. What do you think it is? I don't know. It's a George the Fifth shilling. And that gave a great signal on your oh, on the Dias, didn't it? Yeah. There you go, I told you there was still some coins in this field. What's that date? 1918. It's silver. It's silver, yeah. Oh wait, it's of course it was silver. Sterling silver. What else would it be? That's pretty good find. In fact, I say that would be a very good find. Well done. See, I told you you'd find something. <laughs> well, that's a great find. Excellent. So you picked up a second signal. It was a bit jumpy. And by the looks of it, you've got another one you have. It's a sixpence. <laughs> another George V. And that's in great condition as well. Get in there. Look at that. 1928 sixpence. Well done again. I think we'll have another little scope round here, see if there's a third one. That's another half penny for me. <laughs> Victorian bonehead. 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 Victorian bonehead. <laughs> That's very worn as well. That's three half pennies for me and two silver coins for James. Yeah, things are going great. So, let's see the fruit of our labours. Three scabby half pennies. <coughs> Two silver coins <laughs> by <a> young boy. <laughs> but we're all winners, really, aren't we? <laughs> I just want to die. <laughs>